All right, hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be a, doing a review and a comparison of these styluses with the uh, mesh tips, not the rubber ones like you can see here on this Targus. Um, so this is one that I bought off of eBay and it cost a dollar and it worked very well and it does work very well and I've owned it for probably a little less than a year and I have no problems with it but um, since I was using the well after trying different styluses I ended up figuring out the mesh ones were better for my needs because I used to use this one first and then as you can see it just kind of drags on glass so there's a lot of resistance and it puts a lot of um, it tones your muscles a lot because you're constantly fighting against the friction when you're writing and drawing. Um, I use my iPad a lot for notes so I was taking a lot of notes and I, I was doing a lot of writing so I needed to I did some research out there and found out that there were these fiber mesh tip ones like this where it's actually a metal um, what do you call it tip but um, let me see if I can show you exactly but these things are so soft that it won't scratch the screen compared to the rubber one here so this one has a lot of drag on it but this one just kind of glides smoothly along glass and I guess if I can try to illustrate what I'm talking about here's this one here and notice how the rubber kind of pulls this is a glass table the rubber kind of pulls while this one it just kind of glides along without scratching anything so after I figured that out I was like wow well these are the way to go for me because I do a lot of writing and I was using this and it was nice and all that stuff but when I switched to this I it was just so much smoother and so much nicer and I realized how better of a writing experience it is to write with these fiber mesh uh, stylus tips instead of these ones and it wasn't until I actually forgot this at my house one day and or forgot this one at my house one day and had to use this where I was writing and drawing and I was like wow this I really feel a difference now so if you haven't switched from rubber to um, these mesh ones you probably won't be able to tell the difference but once you switch back to the rubber ones you'll really notice a lot of sticking and dragging and a lot of work that you're doing that you really don't need to be doing so this one's a Targus um, really good but I was just looking for a different tip and I don't think Targus makes these mesh tip ones so that's when you have to do some research and figure out this one is from eBay it cost about a dollar um, I really recommend this if you're really just trying to try it out and you don't want to commit to it. It doesn't, both of these don't come with these grips on it. I just put them on there because I was using them so much. But um, this one is definitely worth a buck or whatever. You can get it on eBay. It'll probably ship from China. The only thing is that these are pretty light compared to these. You can tell with the Targus ones that it's not hollow in the middle. It's actually kind of solid. While these ones... Um, after time this thing ended up coming off and you can see that you can kind of see that it um, is hollow in the middle which means it's really light which some people think is a good thing some people think it doesn't have that authentic pen feel to it so either way um, not that I really needed to replace this I could always just super glue this piece back on I probably will do that but just to have backups so that I don't have to rely on this rubber tip one anymore um, I bought a few other ones and I decided to do a little review to tell you guys which ones to consider and because um, there's so many out there nowadays that finding the right one is kind of a pain so the first one I got is eleven dollars I know that's a big jump up from the one dollar one that I bought but this is called the Ampen 
Um, it's a three-in-one hybrid stylus. So the, th the thing about these is that this tip on the pen is actually replaceable if anything ever does happen to um, get damaged then you can just replace this by just screwing it on they sell replacements online and they're not too expensive I believe this pen was 11 bucks it also comes with the other side being um, the fiber mesh also so which is nice if something happens on one side you can always flip over the other side and when you are taking notes and you have to just write something really quickly sometimes I have found myself with this pen actually picking it up and going like this and being like oh whoops and then you don't want to scratch your iPad screen luckily that never happened to me but it is nice that it is the fiber mesh on both sides here is the pen part this is just a wax protector piece so it doesn't leak but um, I guess it takes the what do you call it the pilot gel pen refills so it's pretty easy and cheap to refill it if you ever need to uh, I haven't been using pens very often lately because I've kind of switched to digital but the other thing about this is that it has a fiber mesh on the outside and it has this rubber thing on the inside so it still has the firmness and kind of sh it gives that shape and resistance of the rubber but it has the smooth and glide uh, of the fiber mesh so that's the amp pen I think for like 11 bucks 1095 something like that the next one up is called the friendly Swede and it comes in a three pack and a three pack is seven dollars and 77 cents and here oh it also comes with like this um, rope that you can kind of hook on to this end here and plug into the 3.5 millimeter jack of the iPad or iPhone or whatever so it kind of just dangles there um, it's not something that I would use but it is an option um, this the rest of them do not have the rubber on the inside they're all just the fiber mesh so this one is nice you can tell with this one that it is hollow just like this one is but the thing about this is that it's long some people I mean sometimes I felt like this was a little short but they have these ones that are much longer I mean I would say like almost double probably very close to being double the the length of this so just a little bit more than a little bit less than double but um, you can tell with the the weight of these that this this is hollow just like this one was so not sure if this thing ever busts off at the end I'm sure they probably all have the same kind of technology and manufacturing process that goes into it so something like that could possibly happen anyways comes in a three pack seven dollars seventy seven cents the cleaning cloth and these little things to keep it tethered to your tablet smartphone whatever the next one is the casein and this one is kind of a very long one as well um, not as long as the friendly Swede the casein the red one in the middle costs 10 around 10 bucks like 10 or 11 dollars um, You can tell that it doesn't have the rubber thing on the inside, but it does have a good shape and everything. Um, the thing about this one is that it has a, a much more heavier and solid feel than this one. Like this one, I said it was probably hollow in the in the middle. This one is not, and it's also fiber mesh. So that's the box that it comes in. Uh, it's called the Vibe XL by Casein. Um, not, much else, not much else to say on it. The next one is the Pogo Sketch here. This one is super slim, um, pretty short, 
so it's probably better for, I don't know, travel or something if you're trying to travel really, really light. The thing about this is that it has a different type of tip than the rest of them. Let me see if I can show you this tip here. It kind of actually has like a foam tip, not quite the fiber mesh that you'll see on these ones. So it's like a foam, it's not really spongy. It's kind of like a hard foam. Um, Maybe if you have like an old dish sponge that kind of got hard and it's not smushy anymore, it's kind of like that. And um, so it's a different material. It does it does have a glide to it. It's it's probably the middle. It's probably in between um, the rubber and the mesh tip ones where it has a little bit of a drag but not too much actually it's pretty smooth but there are certain angles where there's a little drag to it um, so yeah there's this one here it's called the Pogo Sketch here's the box here's the box and um, this one was one of the more expensive ones for how small it is and everything like that. It's, I think, maybe $12 or more. Um, you hear a lot of people talking about this one, but I don't know. I prefer So I prefer to stick with the mesh stylish. I, I don't know why a lot of people are talking about this one, but it's out there. Anyways, the last one that I'm going to review here is called the Yumi. That's Y-O-O-M-E. And it's it was, uh, I think, $10.95. It comes in a two-pack and black and white. And the thing about this one is that it has the retractable. It's like a click pen. So let me see if I can show you. This one also has that kind of foam. I don't know really what this is. It's it's a different color, but it could be fiber mesh. It it doesn't have a lot of resistance. It's very easy to push down. But it, you can see like it's woven a little bit. It's not quite like a sponge, and it does glide well um, so that's that that's the Yumi right there it's their logo and their thing is that they made it retractable so that you know the tip doesn't get damaged and as you can see that this is probably a fragile tip this is probably the most fragile out of all of them you can tell that it definitely doesn't have the rubber underneath to give it that firmness so I'm going to make another video and this is the app that I use to take notes. It's called it's called Good Notes. And even though this is going to be kind of like a ghetto test, um, this is what I'm going to be doing. I, I have a Zag screen shield here, but I took it off because it, it ripped and I'm doing the replacement. So what I'll do is I can cover half the screen with the Zag and do a little test and as you can see it is it is making some marks there so however these perform on the zag probably will just I mean I'm sure it will have no trouble uh, responding however just keep in mind that whatever happens and you actually have a properly installed screen shield the results will probably be slightly better um, if there's any difference at all probably won't be a difference but if there is a difference just assume that it'll be a little bit better so and I have the other thing the good thing about this is I do have the test with no screen shield and some kind of screen shield comparison comparison like scenario here so I will be doing that 
on the next video pen by pen um, just so I can set stuff up in between shots a little bit easier and it doesn't get too tedious I'll put all the links on all the videos so that you can click to whatever pen that you want to see tested and hopefully um, this will be a helpful video thanks